hello student so in previous uh, tutorial we have discussed uh, introduction of micro program so there we have tried to differentiate uh, micro program control unit with the uh, hardwired control unit so in this video we will continue our discussion so here we will uh, start the discussion with uh, micro program control organization means primary architecture of micro program control unit so as you can see in the figure uh, there will be four element the first element is next address generator next is control address register next is control memory next is control data register and uh, there is a feedback loop uh, from control data register to next address generator and uh, output control word and there is a external input now let us try to understand the individual component uh, how uh, everything works together so uh, we will try to focus on sequencer or next address generator later on so let us start with the control address register now we have already discussed that micro program control unit contains the control memory and common principle is applicable to every memory every type or all type of memory that uh, without address there is no meaning of uh, memory okay so whenever uh, we want to read any content from the memory we have to uh, specify the address so uh, same thing will have applicable here also so in micro program control unit there will be control memory so this control memory uh, will access the content using control address register so whatever instruction we want to execute the detail of that instruction will be uh, specified by control address register okay so what control address register will do it will hold the address of control memory for control instruction now here control instruction means to uh, for fetching the control instruction from the control memory now this control instruction or uh, micro instruction okay it will specify some operation so let's say um, we want to execute an instruction uh, for example add instruction so for that uh, we have to uh, read the operand from the memory then we have to transfer the operand into the data register then we have to add the um, that operand into the accumulator and uh, uh, we have to set the extended accumulator so as you can see uh, it is very simple instruction that is add okay but in uh, actual implementation we have seen that it will start from t0 then t1 t2 means uh, fetch and decode and then at t3 we will calculate the effective address of operand t4 we will retrieve the operand and t5 we will uh, perform the addition so as you can see that simple add instruction consists of uh, you know, operation up to timing signal 5 so in each timing signal there will be a specific uh, operation so each operation should be performed in control way so that detail will be stored inside the control memory so the uh, content of that control memory should be retrieved accordingly step by step starting from t0 t1 t2 to t5 so uh, what control address register will uh, hold it will hold the address of control memory so for whatever instruction uh, we want to perform the micro operation so that operation detail will be stored into the control address register uh, next is control memory now control memory it is we can say rom rom means read only memory so once the uh, control unit is designed and the processor is uh, processors are manufactured so at that time uh, while they are fabricating the processor all the details about uh, 
uh, you can say instruction will be stored into the control memory so every time we want to execute an instruction we will retrieve the sequence of uh, micro instruction uh, from this read only memory mm, clear with this so uh, normally the content of this read only memory uh, cannot be altered okay uh, ram means random access memory hold the content which can be altered or which store the user process data while control memory content it is fixed so it, it cannot be altered so in short we can say that uh, all the instructions are uh, static by nature at the uh, hardware level so whatever uh, programming we are doing that will uh, look like uh, dynamic programming or fully dynamic uh, uh, program next is uh, control data register so uh, control data register so we will specify the address using control address register that address will be given to control memory and from control memory the output will be uh, sent to control data register and from control data register it will be sent to various uh, devices uh, in form of control word for con as a control signal okay so control data register it will hold the control word okay control word is uh, nothing but uh, a binary uh, variable uh, which is represented uh, uh, for uh, specifying various uh, micro operations so uh, this control word will be in form of 0101 means in uh, form of binary that will be uh, used to control the circuit now the key component it is sequencer so next address generator this is we can say most important uh, component of micro program control organization so whenever cpu is executing any uh, micro instruction let's say right now cpu is executing the instruction for t2 okay so while cpu is executing the instruction for t2 okay control unit must be ready with the instruction of t3 clear so uh, how control unit will uh, generate the next address so using control data register whatever feedback will be given to sequencer based on that feedback it will generate the next instruction now what is need of this feedback okay why we require this feedback uh, so before starting that discussion let me tell you very simply that uh, sequencer will generate the next address for micro instruction clear so whatever instruction we have uh, specified so uh, for that instruction we have to uh, specify some uh, micro instruction the micro instruction will be specified it is uh, uh, specified into the control memory so uh, sequencer role of sequencer is to fetch that micro instruction and ex execute it linearly uh, so uh, let us uh, try to understand that which are the various scenario where sequencer will come into the picture now uh, many times we have seen that uh, while we are executing the program uh, uh, in uh, normal computer uh, uh, you can say instruction execution okay at that time uh, we will go with the linear execution okay uh, so at that time uh, means value of in increment in the value of program counter will be uh, pc plus one means normally uh, normal value will be incremented while uh, many times it will happen that uh, we want to call the subroutine so at that time also there will be the uh, change in the value of program counter so this was the first case then uh, calling subroutine it is second case now jumping from a specific location to another uh, jumping to a specific location it will be third case uh, let's say we are having set of instruction we which which we want to execute frequently means a loop so that will be fourth case or we are getting some uh, 
input from the external uh, devices and then we, that we have to manage so that will be the fifth case so there are cases like this uh, which are supposed to be managed in micro program also okay how because uh, many times what will happen let's say uh, there is a routine which is implemented uh, for t0 t1 and t2 okay it, it, it is known as a fetch and decode routine so um, whenever any instruction will start so uh, initially uh, in for t0 t1 and t2 whatever operations are specified they will be executed by simply incrementing the control address register so it will go linearly okay so at the end of this there will be mapping process so uh, whatever memory control memory location is there from that location we have to go to some other location so that will be a branch okay so this will be the linear execution and after complete or uh, completion of this fetch and decode there will be mapping so that will be the branch uh, then uh, let's say we have implemented one uh, mechanism to receive the input from the input device okay uh, which is same as INP instruction means uh, INP are input register so transferring input from input device to CPU but how it will be done so whatever routine for uh, whatever subroutine is there or sequence of micro instruction is there it is specified into this routine so uh, at that time let's say uh, we will go with the subroutine is uh, with the subroutine so at that time we will use subroutine register uh, then uh, while we are getting any external input so that address also we have to map like this uh, using feedback so the sequencer role of the sequencer is to generate the next address into the uh, control memory so it will focus on various scenario and uh, then it will uh, try to generate then it will generate the uh, next address in uh, micro program or, or you can say control memory clear with this okay so uh, this is the basic architecture of micro program control unit okay so uh, in next topic we will focus on sequencer or you can say next address generation into the micro program control unit yes so i hope you people are uh, clear with this yes uh, uh, last but not least uh, the main advantage of micro program control unit is that uh, once the hardware config configuration is established, uh, there is no need to uh, change the uh, hardware's, uh, hardware connection. Okay, we, we can implement the new instruction by changing the content of control memory while it was not possible in case of hardware control unit. Why? Because there was uh, implementation of uh, static logic uh, circuits. So that's it. In next video, uh, we will discuss the address sequencing. Thank you.